This video will show the basics of installing a Chase Doors Cold Guard Cooler Swing Door. It will also be helpful for freezer door applications. Please read and understand the installation instructions. This video is not intended to replace that manual, which includes important safety information. Always practice safe lifting techniques throughout the entire installation. Now let's get started. Installation will require the following tools. Level, tape measure, pry bars, C-clamps, rubber mallet, wrenches, hammer, electric drill, drill bit set, optional shims. Also, depending on the size of your door, lifting equipment may be required. Before starting, measure the opening width and height and confirm there is adequate clearance for the door to swing. Using a level, confirm that the opening is square and plumb and the wall is on the same plane where the door is going to be mounted. If necessary, composite shims may be required. Carefully uncrate the door and find the hardware box which includes the installation instructions. Position the door in front of the opening. Remove the fasteners from the stabilizer bar. With the door in the open position, gently push the stabilizer bar out from underneath the door frame. Put a bead of caulk on the wall side of the frame or on the wall about one inch away from the edge of the opening. This will ensure a seal between the wall and door frame. We recommend using butyl caulk. Place the frame against the wall on the outer face of the box. If your door is equipped with mirror casings, remove the bottom stabilizer bar and place the mirror casings on the inside of the cooler box. Note that the casing is assembled using recessed fasteners on one side. Make sure that these are facing against the wall. Temporarily secure the casings using a large C-clamp. Place a level against the casing to ensure that the door is square and plumb. If adjustment is required, gently tap with a rubber mallet. If the floor is not level, you may need to use shims on one side to level the door. A typical 3 foot by 7 foot door will have 3 fasteners per side and 2 across the header. Larger doors will have additional fasteners. Place the fasteners near the hinge locations to properly support the door. Measuring 2 and 1 quarter inch from the outside edge of the frame, drill a 7 16 inch hole through the door frame and casings. Permanently attach the casings to the wall using the fasteners provided. Snug down fasteners equally and not all at once. Do not over tighten as it will warp the frame. It is important not to cut the bolts off at this time. Open and close the door several times, making sure that the door operates easily and seals properly. With the door in the closed position, make sure that the magnetic gasket provides a positive seal to the casing. If you see any gaps between the door and frame, you will need to loosen the fasteners holding the door in place and install shims so that it seals properly. Once you are comfortable with the door operating correctly, you can cut off the excess bolts and file any sharp edges. Install plastic nut covers. Caulk around the perimeter of the frame. Remove any protective coating on the door. Use a clean cloth to wipe away any grease or debris left from installation. If this is a cooler door, your installation is now complete. If it is a freezer, there are just a few more steps. All electrical work should be performed by a qualified electrician in accordance with all applicable codes. The door heater has been pre-wired to the SJO cord attached to the door panel. Insert the cord through the strain relief and into the junction box on the header. Wire the hot, neutral, and ground wires to the terminal strip inside of the box. Bring supply power into the same junction box and connect to the terminal strip in the same fashion. Do not turn the power to the heater on until the freezer is in operation. Failure to do so may cause the heater to fail. We hope this video was helpful. For more information on Chase Doors, visit our website at www.chasedoors.com.